When you come to think of it, the Earth has been extremely lucky throughout its existence. So many terrible things could have happened to it, but it lingers on. Here are the top 10 times that the world could have ended. Stay tuned to number 1 to find out what disaster could change life on Earth as we know it at any time. Number 10. The 1859 Solar Storm This event took place in August and September of 1859, with the number of solar flares reaching Earth. The geomagnetic storm managed to reach the planet in less than 20 hours, and it arrived in the dead of night. People in North America were so amazed that they thought it was actually morning because of all the brightness. That's how strong this solar flare was. Although this event did not end up destroying the planet, it definitely caused massive havoc. Many telegraph poles actually caught fire, and the telegraph services in North America were completely disrupted. The strange thing is that some telegraph poles actually kept working, although they were cut off from their power supply. The event was also visible from Sub-Saharan Africa, Hawaii, Cuba, and more. In 1859, there weren't many telegraph cables, and the telephone hadn't yet been invented. Therefore, the damage luckily was not so big. But if the same thing happened today, it would likely destroy all the communication networks we have due to the electromagnetic damage. And scientists estimate that the damage would cost more than $2 trillion. Number 9. Mount Tambora Eruption in 1815, the Indonesian volcano of Tambora erupted so massively that it almost changed the Earth's climate and its population. The magma that came out of this volcano was more than 24 cubic miles in volume. But it wasn't the most destructive aspect of the whole Tambora eruption. Because of this dreadful event, a lot of toxic waste went into the atmosphere. Later on, the toxic gas turned into an enormous collection of toxic clouds which engulfed the planet and dropped acid rain. As a result of this volcanic eruption, the Earth's surface began cooling, and the year of 1816 was known in Europe and the Americas as the Summerless Year. In June of that year, snowfall was recorded in England. That's how drastic the changes in climate were. The Tambor event is probably the largest recorded volcanic eruption in the history of the world, and it's also the most devastating, as it resulted in the death of more than 70,000 people. Around 10,000 died directly from the consequences of this eruption, but the largest part died due to the climate changes and the resulting famine. Number 8. The Bonilla Comet the Bonilla Comet was named after the astronomer Jose Bonilla, who observed a strange event through his telescope. What Bonilla saw could have had catastrophic consequences, and the Earth survived by pure cosmic luck. On August 12, 1883, Bonilla saw a huge comet that kept breaking up and sending hundreds of smaller pieces towards the Earth's atmosphere. Bonilla managed to make a couple of photographs of the event, documenting it for future generations. In 2011, scientists researched this event once again and concluded that these small, broken up objects could have easily been parts of a huge, billion ton comet that came very close to planet Earth. It is estimated that if one of these pieces hit the Earth's surface, the results would have been an impact similar to the one from the famous Tunguska event of 1908, when a meteoroid did hit the surface and felled 80 million trees. But given the fact that there were literally hundreds, if not thousands of pieces flying close to our atmosphere, it could have destroyed the planet. The numerous pieces of the Bonilla probably came as close as 400 miles to planet Earth, which is a pretty darn close shave in cosmic distances. Number 7. Comet Hayakutake This comet was discovered in 1996, and it was the nearest comet to pass the Earth in the last 200 years. It was also known as the Great Comet of 1996. The amazing thing is that this comet was visible clearly from the Earth's surface, and there are many photographs that documented this event. It was discovered not by a professional astronomer, but by an amateur from Japan. Yuji Hayakutake was interested in comets, and he spent years researching them. It's interesting that this is actually the second comet that Hayakutake found. 
In 1995, he also found a comet, but one year after, while he was looking for the first one again, he found another one, which was almost in the same position as the first Hayakutake comet. Luckily, the comet didn't destroy the planet, but in cosmic distances, it was really, really close to us. And since we know that it was almost 3 miles in length, it really had the power to end all life on Earth and possibly affect the planet's ability to support life in the future. Number 6. Russian Confusion Leaving natural occurrences for a moment, in 1995 a rocket was launched in Norway. Its goal was to make some kind of research for Aurora Borealis, and that was it. However, as the Cold War had just finished a couple of years prior to this, Russia was still apprehensive of any strange activity close to its borders. In this particular case, Russian radars picked up a signal that was very similar to a ballistic missile and, obviously, the Russians were terrified. If they decided to acknowledge the missile as an enemy weapon, a full-scale war would have started. Allegedly, the then-Russian president, Boris Yeltsin, was only minutes from deciding to launch a nuclear attack on the US. But luckily, that didn't happen. The rocket fell into the ocean and luckily didn't cause any damage. The amazing thing is that apparently, the US government had notified Russia weeks before the launching of the rocket, but it seems there was a glitch in the Russian chain of command. Had the Russian president been impatient or less trusting of his relationship with Ronald Reagan, who knows what could have happened? Number 5. A Made-Up War Scenario on November 9, 1979, a low-ranking officer from the United States Air Force decided to make a program which could simulate a nuclear attack by the USSR on America. The program was ambitiously conceived as the goal was to create a simulation of 1,000 missiles attacking the US all at once. But there was one thing that this officer didn't know. He didn't know that his computer was connected directly into the control room of NORAD the headquarters of North American Defense System. Once he finished the simulation, the officer, you know, decided to try it out, and he inadvertently put into motion a dreadful scenario. When the simulation was started, the NORAD control room read this as a warning of an actual nuclear attack, which put the entire defense system of the United States at full alert. Don't forget that this was happening when the Cold War was still going strong, and the possibility of a nuclear attack was quite possible. Messages were sent across the country saying that the Soviets were attacking and the fighter planes were alarmed, expecting the attack. But luckily, someone in NORAD headquarters was smart enough to double-check the whole thing, and when the radar stations were contacted, it turned out there were no missiles headed towards the US. Number 4. Tunguska Event On June 30, 1908, a meteoroid that reached the surface of the Earth caused an airburst to occur, which flattened 800 square miles of forest. The event itself happened in Siberian Russia. The interesting thing is that this event was classified under the category of an impact event. But luckily, there is no impact crater. In fact, to this day, no such crater has been found. What is absolutely amazing is that there were no human casualties. The location of the impact was quite luckily one of the least populated regions on Earth and it's by pure luck that the planet avoided a catastrophe of losing thousands, if not millions of lives. The Tunguska event is probably the largest impact of its kind ever to strike Earth, and if the meteoroid had a more direct hit, it definitely could have affected the Earth to a much greater extent. Number 3. A Blown Fuse This sounds like a joke, but it's not. We're talking about the Cold War era again, but this time focused in the 1950s. During this time, the nuclear scare was extremely high, and paranoia was all around the US. Fearing an attack from the Soviets, the US government decided to make a network of radars in order to control the skies and be ready if anything bad happened. All the radars were connected to a military base in Nebraska, and the communication was quite well for the next couple of years. But on November 24, 1961, all communication between the warning radars and their headquarters stopped. It seemed as if the whole radar network was destroyed. Even the backup lines didn't respond, and that's when panic struck. But there was no nuclear attack from the Soviets. In fact, the whole network of radars was connected through one singular relay station in Colorado. And when it overheated one night, all communication went dead. 
This should be a lesson in single point of failure. Number two, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Although this crisis lasted only about two weeks, it was one of the most dramatic moments in recent history, which could have led to catastrophic consequences. The Cuban Missile Crisis is practically the closest the world has ever gotten to a full-scale nuclear war. It all started when USSR felt threatened by the American military presence in Europe, which was getting bigger and bigger. When the US placed its missiles in Italy and Turkey, as a response, the USSR decided to put their missiles as close to the US borders as possible. The best place for this, of course, was Cuba. Cuba was a newcomer to the world of communism, as it had recently overthrown its government in a communist revolution just a few years prior. The plan was to start building missile silos in 1962, but the US government didn't want to let this happen, so it immediately took action against it. Luckily, after a lot of negotiation, the two superpowers reached an agreement. The USSR decided not to put its missiles in Cuba, and the US pledged not to attack or invade Cuba ever again. Number 1. The Toba Eruption This is one of many super eruptions that happened throughout the Earth's history. In this particular case, the Toba Eruption took place around 75,000 years ago, and it's named after the exact place of its happening, Lake Toba on Sumatra present-day Indonesia. As far as we know, this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest volcanic explosions ever. The eruption was so powerful that it reached between 2,000 and 3,000 square kilometers. To give you a clearer picture of the explosion, let's just say that the erupted mass was 100 times bigger than any recent explosion. The aftermath of the Toba eruption was catastrophic to say the least. There were 300 square miles of deposited ashfall, and the sun was darkened for six whole years, affecting the climate to a large extent. The planet's temperature dropped significantly, and there were many human and animal migrations as a result of this. Another Toba theory also suggests that the human population dropped to a mere few thousand people, which means that the whole human history was practically restarted after the Toba eruption. With the unpredictability of the universe, it suffice to say that we're lucky that our species has made it this far. What are some times you can think of that almost destroyed humanity? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before it's too late. And take care.